means there is nobody in the canyon at all and we should have it all to ourselves at least for now this is an area where it really washed through deep you can see it was a couple of feet deep through here cut through all of this but the road goes through actually I see some walking tracks i think they may have latched somebody in here Keep an eye on things for him. That's the second river crossing. It's not good. Oh, it's pretty good actually. It should be doable for anybody that can make it up the rest of the canyon. Stop for a break in the shade of this Palo Verde there. Oh, it's really hot. Almost there though, just made it to the lower gates. And I just wanted to show you this. This is the view down over, up this draw. There's a whole draw that runs off diagonal up that way. It goes around behind this entire ridge line and hits that high ridge up there on the left. That's the old Indian trail. And of course the feeder routes to it all come through the foothills that are on the other side of this whole range of foothills out there, Butt Rock Canyon, etc. But uh, yeah up that draw is the start to the indian trail and it'll dump you out on the back of this way at the top oscar of course left his gate open unfortunately i think the big problem is their road at the stream crossing is completely cut i'll check that on the way back down but right now i'm heading for the old school route here canyon got plenty of water running down here and it has been scrubbed clean let's see how it is at the waterfall there. Well, this is all new completely scoured out at the climbing wall well, this is all new all the sandy beach that was here is gone there's a little bit, not all. And I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to jump in. Oh. I'm yard sailing. Woo! Oh, yeah. I feel good. Nice and deep through here. Let's see what it looks like by the waterfall here. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's really deep. I can't even touch right here. I 
beautiful as ever though. Just a lot more, a lot less sand and a lot more water. Uh, which is all right with me. Yeah, it's a very impressive, complete and total removal of every bit of sand. And there's a huge slot there. And there's a shallow patch through here. And of course, that's the usual. There's the usual rock for sunning. And then the water a hole at the bottom of the waterfall here has been absolutely cleaned out of sand. So perfect for diving. I guess we should. Cool. Oh, there's a nice little bench for climbing out right here. You wanna, guys want to go for a ride? Here, go ahead. gonna be a while till anybody's driving up in here anytime soon and the good news is they still got Rob's old camp over there that they can run and it sounds like they're gonna open it up next week and get things back in business because the regular old road is still passable but they've done all the repair work of course the gates were locked today but you know and by next week it should be back going again yeah. Yeah. a lot of road left on the south side let's see if I can walk over to El Sol from here wow major major erosion right down to the bedrock this whole side I mean look at this stuff here is 20, 30 feet off of the valley floor now, or the canyon floor where the water's running, and it's washed down by. This must have been a real sight to see. Cut all the way down to the bedrock here. Wow. Where's the nature? Easy bushwhacking across the canyon there. Boulder hopping, but oh, that's good. The fellas weren't kidding when they said they left a left a tub running there. So, viva Mexico! Here comes the moment the sun goes behind the ridge, and we start hiking back out.